Hi guys. In this video you are going to learn how to look up data from a large data collection. So I will show you how to get the costing details for a particular material from this material costing summary, which is 66 rows, and show in a different sheet like this dynamically. As you can see when I update the material description cell, all other cells are updating automatically. Let's get to work. So in here we have the worksheet which contains the material costing details and I will create a new worksheet called details. Then create desired fields as follows. In this material summary worksheet, we have seven columns excluding the index column. So we will create seven rows in this worksheet which are equal to what we have in material summary worksheet. First row, shall be material description, and then quantity, unit, minimum rate, average rate, maximum rate, total cost. Columns shall be added to the details sheet respectively. To be organized apply the borders to the document. Select the empty cell related to quantity, and type equals sign, and then type VLOOKUP. Double click on the VLOOKUP function suggested by the Excel. As shown in here, there are four arguments to be filled in this VLOOKUP function. For the first argument, enter the cell address which has the lookup value, which is equal to one of the row data in material summary worksheet. Then select the data table array from the material summary worksheet. Do not forget to set the data table array as an absolute reference range, since we are going to copy and paste the function on other cells also. There is one thing you need to remember about VLOOKUP, which is, VLOOKUP always search the data from left to right and it will not work in other way. Also the lookup value should be in the column 1. So we are excluding the index column here, since the material description column should be the first column in the lookup range. Please note that there is a way to avoid this constraint by using index and match functions. If you want to learn how to use those functions follow my YouTube channel. Next argument is column index of the data table array. This value will be the column index of our target column, but the count should be start from the column which hold the lookup values. So for the quantity field the value shall be 2. The last argument shall be the range lookup. If we are going to get the data, relevant to exact match for the lookup value, the argument shall be 0. Otherwise the argument shall be 1. Since we are going to fill the other cells using same formula, we have to set the lookup value reference as an absolute reference. So now, our rule 4 arguments are correctly entered, and we can hit enter button to see the result. Then copy the cell and paste it on other cell, as function only format. After pasting, we need to modify the column index argument, since we need to extract data from different columns as follows. So now, all the required field are filled, and we can check our data extracting sheet for its performance. Select a material from material description list and hit enter. As you can see, we are getting the relevant results on these fields. If you are wondering, how did I manage to get all material description from the material summary worksheet as a list, please like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel to learn that. Thanks for watching.